right, so this is apparently, is it, is it what, like part five, part four? Part now? four. Part four. Part four. Part four. Okay. Part four. And uh, this this is OJ's choice. This is not an anime, but, you know, anything can be an anime if you try hard enough. Um, this is a little thing called Vet TV. Uh, and, yeah, um, this this is a, it's... Well, can you explain? It's like a... It's, it's, um, so, it was invented by a Marine captain. His stage name is Donnie O'Malley. That's not his real name. He started, but that's what he goes by now. And his original goal is to help vets recover from, like, PTSD and who are dealing with stress. And it's supposed to make them laugh. So, this is made intentionally for vets, not civilians. But it's, it's fucking hilarious. So why the if, you, fuck are we if, you don't, if you like dark humor... Is the darkest okay. of the dark is the best okay. dark humor ever. Yeah. All right. You guys ready? Right. We're ready. We're ready, I guess. All right. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. I'm scared. This. Yeah, I'm pause this. I've, I've seen this before. Have you seen this? I have not. I'm just All right. This uh, right. Just from the audio coming through, um, I'd just like to say uh, I uh, this 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 may uh, be a little offensive to some people. So uh, yeah, yeah, trigger warning, guys. Uh, but you know, yeah. it's it's all in comedy, and uh, we do not affiliate with this this uh this see. channel here. But we're gonna watch it. All right, play it. Sixty mics. Sixty mics. For the last ninety-nine years, women have been serving in the United States Marine Corps. In I remember this one. From administration to pilots combat engineers on the front line. Okay. These women have been an integral part okay. of the fighting force. And it all starts here, a Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island. This is where female Marines are made. This is where they're tested and where 20% of these women will drop out due to mental and physical exhaustion. It's a rigorous and life-changing 13 weeks that is run completely by the drill instructors. Female drill instructors the are one with mentally the... and physically tough women in the Marine Corps. Their training to become drill instructors is more demanding than any other school for women. They're trained to embody every aspect of being a Marine, from drilling to killing, and they do it better than anyone. Okay. But recently, this isn't so bad so far. the standards for women have been dropping. Attrition rates are lower, and physical requirements are less demanding. The command at Paris Island has come under fire for allowing too many less than... Was Paris Island actually the real yeah, place? Yeah, okay. it's for um, women, yeah. I believe so, so, yeah. And a new look so, yes. at the way recruits are trained. As part of the new changes intended to... The men go... I think there are men here, but I, I think most of them go to... It depends where you go. What the fuck are we looking at? I think it's a man. So it's worth a wig. No, it's a transgender. <laughs> yeah, this is where this one gets a little, uh... <laughs> oh my, that's, that's messed. Alright, that's kind of messed up. Oh, that's not the only thing. How long is this, Ojo? This is, it's not too long. It, it, it gets really, uh, really bad. Not, uh, but the, uh... McDonald's are going to the inside closes in three minutes. Or it's just safe to read. Her third deployment was to Southeast Asia. By the time Brunswick was home from her third deployment, the Department of Defense was considering allowing transgenders to serve. Funny thing that is actually Don O'Malley. I do not know who that is. That's the guy who started it? No, that's the guy who created it. Oh, I had a chance to sit down with Staff Sergeant Brunswick at her home, just outside of Paris Island. So you've been a machine gunner in an all-male infantry battalion. You've deployed four times. You've gone to combat and been awarded for battle. And See, they make it just walk. look so bad. The like, no, no actual trans person looks. Yeah. And we'll put that uh, Like, yeah. Down, if they want to, I mean, <laughs> you can't judge. Yeah, it's, I know it's comedy, but, but they are pushing it's, it like that. It's, it's, it's a bit pushing it. I mean, you should try to hire a transgender person to play a role, but you can find yeah, anyone. You, you will so find one. He decided to give him himself because he didn't want to put it on anybody else in his crew. 
so you think you want to do it right. The, the, uh, like, finding someone would be the equivalent, like, you know, uh, no, no African American, uh, wanted to be in, uh, what, what was it called? The, uh, one where, like, all the white people, black based, uh, birth of a nation. Like, <laughs> good point. Once the wars were over, my my friends had all moved to new units, and change was coming, whether I liked it or not. So I figured if I was going to make a change, I would just go all the way. Fascinating. You must have had some truly inspiring people in your life to have made such a brave decision. Also, Stegenshire closes at 12. Who were greatest inspirations growing up? Just keep um, going. Well, I've always admired sure? a strong woman. Yeah, it changes like, on camera, we're just like, steak and shake. We're hungry boys. <laughs> we're hungry. Real ice of hot hours. Who's up? They're being disrespectful. <laughs> they kind of are, yeah. <laughs> China. Definitely high rated R. Yeah, yeah it's pretty high rated R. Yeah. Definitely an NC 17. So, what did you do when the Marine Corps put me off of Cape Fear? Well, the first thing I did was um, get my license. And then, um, I was a chicken. Uh, and then the Marine Corps actually sucked me into the Army as a custodian. So, I got off cut for three years. What was that like? Not good. Uh, <laughs> I, I felt like the Marine Corps had abandoned me and that they were just going to let me rot away in the armory for the rest of my career, like they do all the shitbags. <laughs> but I got lucky. I, I met an amazing man, and uh, he might be the love of my life. He's handsome, smart, and kind, and he makes me feel good about myself. Life can be really hard. <laughs> Yo, know, that was like, okay, I'm like, this is going somewhere, and that, uh, you know. Oh, oh. He's joking, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is getting a bit, this is getting big traffic here. Man. Yeah, why are we watching this all together? Like, because it's the reaction, it's the reaction that's good on camera, at least. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, like, I feel like one day you're gonna be like, hey guys. You know, like... He's like... It's hard to explain why this thing is going on. It's pretty offensive. I don't know why. Well, I wouldn't say unfair. Because I like to think I work harder than everyone else. But... Why did you... Made me better able to mentor my peers. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, like, straight up, this is, like, offensive to women. And offensive to trans people. Well, well, yeah, but, like, if you see this, there's, like, it's just, or she's I mean, just, you know, beating they're, the... They're trivializing it, yeah. But, you know, you know, this has happened, there's been a trans man in the uh, World Quest weight, do you know about the weightlifting thing? Yeah, oh, we're gonna yeah. Go into this. but do you know about, like, Robert DJ Cashier? No, let's hold No, because you don't study history. Let's just first... Yeah. So, so what? I, I'm reading about Alabasta. What do you want? Joe, this is the weekend with the Reeves, not the weekend with the Marines. Joe, just, I mean, they do like their sword art online, they do like, which is kind of trash. Yeah. But. I mean, is the manga any good? I don't know what's the anime. There is no manga. 
Really? It's a light novel. Okay. My next interview was. Oh, this is pretty good. Uh, this is actually kind of funny. I'm going to remember. Honestly, he was pretty fucking good. Did I know he was bad? <laughs> yeah. I watched him blow Johnson like a dozen times in Iraq, so I do. I have some reservations. So how do you feel about the situation now? <laughs> My phone Honestly, I feel fucking <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Like the chicks okay. to bother me. It's real. So I pause that. I gotta see this shit. Why is oh no, we're not chirping? pausing this. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Why my my phone is chirping? So you know. All right. Well, like, are you trying to avoid watching this voice? No, we're not trying to. How avoid long? It. It's it's not that it's, long. It's, it's not. It's yeah. shorter than your shit, Lori. But come on. And they just dropped a uh, F word, and that wasn't terribly offensive. They're equally offensive as they were. Okay, bad guys are still there. Yeah, they're still there. Yeah, they're Pretty sure it's kind of offensive. Yeah, it is. It is offensive. It is offensive. Both of them are offensive. was Brunswick was solid. Okay, I knew he was a cocksucker the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's cringing at this. I mean, it is it's it is a little bad. It is a little, it is a little, it's a little bad. It's a little funny. It, it's, a little, it's, it's really yeah. funny. But I mean, bad. majority. I, I'm debating even uploading this. I don't know. I'm trying to yeah. go off. It's well. Here's the thing. Like, I, I'm a fan of a lot of their stuff they put out, but this is the one you're not. This one just. It's uncomfortable because there's like so much wrong with it. <laughs> it's, oh man! Wait, wait, wait. And in general, spoke very highly of her, but not everyone had great things to say about Staff Sergeant Brunswick. So your daughter was one of the recruits that Staff Sergeant Brunswick trained last cycle. This is Scott. That's my baby. So what are your thoughts on Staff Sergeant Brunswick? Hard fuck up! Our Lord and Savior would want a grown ass man looking at my little girl in the shower. That's my baby girl. Daryl, Staff Sergeant Brunswick is a woman and has always been a woman. Really? So are you telling me that thing with a big swinging juicy cock is a woman? Is that what you're saying? Get out! Everybody get the fuck out! Jesus fucking Christ! Well, she hasn't had surgery yet, Daryl, so yes. But that doesn't, you don't, no, you don't get no, to this. No, no, nobody stares at my baby girl in the shower except for me. Not some grown-ass man. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. Okay, okay. Hey. Welcome to Alabama. <laughs> for all of the people who aren't fond of Staff Sergeant Brunswick, there are just as many people who think she's a hero. I sat down with the commanding officer of female recruit training at MCRD Paris Island for another perspective. You're the first commander to have a transgender drill instructor. I am. So what's it been like? Deborah, I'm focused on the mission. And Staff Sergeant Brunswick accomplishes the mission better than any of the other drill instructors here. So it's been outstanding. How so? She's a hard ass. She works these little bitches into either submission <laughs> or strike. That's exactly what the Marine Corps needs. The Corps is getting soft, Deborah. Even the men are little bitches these days. So when I get the chance to inflict some old school pain on these disgusting little twats, I embrace the opportunity to make my core stronger. Interesting. What is it about Staff Sergeant Brunswick that makes her a better drill instructor? Well, Deborah, 
As an officer, I probably shouldn't say this. However, there's really no way around the cold hard truth here. Staff Sergeant Brunswick crushes these bitches into submission because she's got a big fucking dick swinging between her legs. <laughs> That's why she's a better drill instructor. Now, I'm a bit surprised. I I know I'm not. It's how I do it like that cover as I laugh. So like it's funny, but it's very uncomfortable. Very, very This makes Joe 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 smart like it's more bizarre than Joe. It's more fucking more bizarre than Joe Joe's bizarre adventure. Oh yeah. Just And you just kept making fun of the jack away. <laughs> hey, you know, at least we got some romance. At I love least, romance. You know, you know. I love romance. I'm sure we can charge for it. <laughs> Let me tell you this, guys. This came out before Black Panther, so maybe you get that idea. Wait, why? No, I was just thinking I love African accents. That's all. That's all I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, especially Uganda. Yeah. Or Somalia. It's unique, man. Or Togo. I don't know. Is, it like, is this like a Seagull? I'm or just in a fucking African country. They're all good. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? He is so cute. I love it. I love it. I love romance. I'm assuming, now I'm going to speak for this man right here. Okay. Okay, go on. I feel like, be, you know what? Never mind. I'm fighting. <laughs> I, 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 I not, never can't fucking mind. Tongue, Joe? I'm not going to wear any shit. What? <laughs> this whole thing is just it's like, fucked up. It's like made by, it's made by a bunch of. That's what I mean, it's not what for, do you it's not, it's not for civilians, guys. That's why you're, um, I mean, and I, I well, don't, you're not a, no, but I just like dark humor. And this, this is God. the darkest of the dark. You only have so many years on this planet, even fewer years that we get to like this. Wait, so what the fuck? It's not worth hiding. This is your life. It's yours to make the most of it or throw it away. Being true to yourself is the only way to make the most of it. Life's too short. Let's look like a dark term really fast. Okay. Uh, I, I think we need to we need, uh, discuss, because I don't know how much of that actually came through, but that was... Yeah, like... Every time I see that, that's a, uh, it's a ride of some kind. Yeah. Um... I'm gonna move over a bit because we're like, I'd be close. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, Tonight, on 60 mics. Okay, pause you don't it. have to play it again. You don't play it again. <laughs> oh, jeez, stop it. it. Pause it. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, I, I almost got it. Wow, wow, we're making a reaction video. I, why are you still... You got the one... It's not even an anime, OJ. Why are you, you doing this? what you want. Gave you what you want, and still you should. We Churchill appeasement you. That didn't fucking right, work. That, that was a uh, oh, Jesus. I gotta look it up. Uh, uh, <laughs> Where did you come from? Three. Oh my. What time did this come out? Are, 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 are we still on camera? Yeah, we're still on camera, yeah, still oh, on camera we're bro. Up, boys. But like, anyway, we're, I was looking up what, what, what the, the air date of three oh nine, which is the episode of watching part one. Okay. That was pretty great. Like, JoJo's was great. Like, just seeing that. Know, like, this, this fucking whole shit. experience. Uh, we had to do this some more off. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I like, I like doing this shit. Well, That's okay, Moani, going yeah. back to this topic, which one did you like? Did you like the letdown? Is that the one I showed you? Where, um, the, like, the two guys, the two Navy boys? or Honestly, my favorite was the PS. Or the, uh, the PTSD, yeah, the, yeah. the night, uh, the just next place. That's, that's kind of like a psych humor. Like, there's 
Yeah. I mean, like, uh, well, what, what would you, you laugh that? about that stuff? Well, yeah. Well, no, no. We'll, we'll get this. A lot of, I, I believe a lot of EMTs and, you know, a lot of firefighters yeah, and yeah. police officers, I yeah. believe they, they have that humor because they see death all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. That's why yeah. it's more, you know, this dark humor is more yeah. towards that. To that well, normally, be, like, this is you know, pretty okay, but, like, there's, there's a lot of, like, I bet you didn't know there was a uh, transgender um, like general for the union. Really? Yeah, Robert DJ Cashier. Yeah. So, like, there, there's stuff like that um, that, like, just kind of gets lost in history. So, you know. We also had a gay president. president. We had, uh, what's his name? James Buchanan. Like, was, he, was he gay? The letter is, like, oh, my. But was he, he proven was, gay? He wasn't openly gay. All right. Well, like, if you read the letters you by him, <laughs> can, you, can you prove that he's gay? I mean, we'll read. I can look up some more letters. So we can't. We can't. We can't prove that he's gay. No, uh, I will. You, you can insinuate. Uh, no, Joe no, can insinuate that he's gay. OJ, like, with, if you read the letters, it's pretty. Well, I don't have the letters. Well, I can look if I if my fucking internet will work. I'm trying to look up episode three hundred nine, but it's not working. I can like, if you read the letters, you'll see like this guy. He's basically gay. And we'll look it up after we're, uh, yeah, well, we'll yeah, because it's like, it's, thing. yeah, it's, bro- it's we'll talk about that for broadcast, yeah, podcast, podcast, broadcast, broadcast, so this is the ending story, I remember once I was really hungry, and I went to Dick's house and ate brats, it was so delicious, you I did try my brats, they're good, they're better, I've had his, and they're not good, they're not good, but I never had brats before. Dude, I'm gonna go dude. check Gatling out. I mean, all right, I think that's all we got. This is... Yeah, yeah, this got really. Uh... So, so to sum it all up, we watched One Piece, which was downright awesome. I uh, gave Joe a uh, really interesting taste into JoJo's, and then uh, OJ blew it away with a uh, really interesting video that uh, I don't know what to think. It's kind of. Yeah. Pretty offensive in some ways, but you I know, give it, it is six out of ten. Here, so six out of ten. Okay. IGN I'm, would I'm recommend a little lower, but I'm, I'm a fan of a lot of their stuff. This one's just kind of like I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Anyway. So uh, yeah, Peace. see y'all later. Peace.